in the thrills, the storm that ran at Hershey Park. On July 22nd, 2002, Knott's Berry Farm opened the Accelerator, an intimate accelerator coaster that took the world by storm during the launch of the coaster boom in the 2000s. A year later, Cedar Point opened Top Thrill Dragster, the first strata coaster in the world that once held the title as the tallest and fastest roller coaster on the planet. Hershey Park must have gotten wind of this craze, because the next year, they would open Storm Runner. For this review, the first accelerator coaster with inversions in the thrills. I guess while I'm at it, I might as well just put this in. This is what you came for, isn't it? Okay, fine, on with the review! An accelerator is a coaster model developed by Intamin that contains hydraulic fluids to launch the coaster trains into a circuit. Some good examples prior to Storm Runner's construction were the previously mentioned accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm and Top Thrill Drexler at Cedar Point. Both of which can't catch a break! Yeah, Storm Runner ain't any better either! Unlike Accelerator and Curbster, Storm Runner had inversions. Three of them, actually. More on that later. Storm Runner also had a dual loading station, which is the reason why I was able to get a walk-on on this ride. Okay, besides that, moving on. The layout goes as follows. You exit a dual loading station before getting launched from 0 to 72 miles per hour in 2 seconds into an outward top hat before plummeting 153 feet to the drop. It follows instantly with a cobra roll as well as a heartline roll and a flying snake dive. After a quick S turn, the coaster enters the station, bringing an end to only 30 seconds of prime ride time, 50 if you include the rollout to the launch. Wait, that was it? Like I said, the ride was a walk-on for me since we got pretty early into the park on the second day, before it got overcrowded. And I have to say, this ride is pretty intense for what I know. Although I haven't ridden Sky Rush since it was closed for the season because of Cable Snap, Storm Runner well made up for it for the loss of Sky Rush. This ride is very forceful at times, and this is coming from someone who hasn't ridden Unreliable Drexler at Valley Point. You also get these two unique inversions for the price of one, the Cobra Roll, which is similar to a, a bit of a sidewinder, while the flying snake dive actually sounds like a very fun inversion to recreate in Planet Coaster. The other's a heartline roll. Overall, I was looking forward to riding Storm Runner since Sky Rush was closed. The coaster was able to meet my expectations, as well as adding in something new to the table to help it stand out. Please ride it. Best ride in the park. Get in before the lines clock up or if an actual storm is coming. Anyway, you've reached the final break run. Thanks for being in the thrills of Storm Runner, and enjoy the rest of your day on YouTube. By the way, the ride contradicts itself because the ride isn't open during a storm! I love false advertising!